Hello, air signs. Welcome to a reading all about your future partner. What are they like? What are their traits? What do you need to know about them? Any hidden factors or situations or things you need to be aware of? We're going to look at all of that. I am going to look at each sign individually. So Gemini will get a spread. Libra will get a spread. Aquarius will get a spread. And I'll include the timestamps in the description box below so you can jump to your sign. So let's jump right in. Four air signs. Spirit angels, guides. What messages, what guidance do you have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius regarding their future partnership? What do they need to know about the person coming towards them in the near future? We'll start with Gemini. For Gemini spirit. What do we need to know for Gemini? Who is coming towards Gemini? What does Gemini need to know about their future partner? What is this person like? This person coming towards Gemini, their future partner. Wow, Six of Cups. <laughs> Only the best card that you can get asking that question, right? Who's coming towards you? Your soulmate. Someone that you have a very sweet, tender connection with someone that you may have history with i know that i don't want to jump into an x but the six of cups is a card about the past it's a card about nostalgia happy memories good times a childlike innocence a purity a sweetness um this could also be somebody that's um younger than you or you are younger than them like there's a um age difference but i'm getting a lot of like sweet caring energy here soulmate energy of course what else do we need to know spirit what else do we need to know for gemini regarding their future partner tell me more about this six of cups queen of wands aries leo sagittarius energy there um i feel like even though there's a sweetness there's also like this fiery side as well with the queen of wands um i sense that this is someone that's going to be very attracted to you but I don't just mean physically attracted. I'm getting more, it's like deeper than that. It could be somebody that is very charismatic or they f find you very charismatic, very outgoing. The Queen of Wands tends to be like the life of the party. Um, they kind of do their own thing. They, they kind of um, dance to the beat of their own drum, the Queen of Wands. And typically they're very bold. Um, what they see, they get. What they want, they get, right? So when I see the Queen of Wands here, I'm thinking of someone who, when they see you, they want you, they know how to get you. Someone that maybe thinks you are a prize or is just very like drawn to you. The Queen of Wands definitely has all eyes on them. Um, that is totally their energy. And um, you could also have a bit of uh, fire energy in your chart as well, Gemini. Let me get one more. Can I get one more for Gemini, please? Tell me more about this Six of Cups energy here, Spare. What else do we need to know about Gemini's future partner? But more than anything, I feel like the main energy I see here is you kind of have the best of both worlds, Gemini, because you have someone that is very sweet, pure, attentive. They're, you know, you have a good time together. You have that soulmate type of connection, but also there's like a spark. We have the chariot as well that came out um cancer energy here so i feel like whoever this is you're moving forward um you're on a good path here the chariot is all about kind of having a goal for success or being on the path to success uh and you move quickly on that path right this is a path that takes you right to the finish line so I feel like when you meet this person, it's going to be like, let's go, 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 go. Some of you could be meeting someone um, at a distance that they live at a distance from you. And then so they have to kind of come towards you. But more than anything, I'm seeing kind of like, you know, top down road trip vibes. You're heading in a direction with the person that you love. Um, some of you, I feel like this is going to happen while you're traveling. You meet someone while you travel. Um, yeah, I'm seeing like a ticket counter. So it, this could be somebody that you meet while you're on vacation or traveling for work or while they're on vacation or they're traveling for work. Take it as it resonates, right? Because the energies could be interchangeable here. 
Let's get some oracles so we know a little bit more about who this might be. Tell us more, spirit. Tell us more about this individual coming towards Gemini. Gemini, if you're enjoying the reading, don't uh, forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love for you to stick around. Wow. What was that? Happy, bright, and cheerful. Love it. So this could be somebody with a good sense of humor. This could be somebody that I, I feel like they really match your energy. They make you shine. Um, I'm seeing a lot of smiling. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like, you know, they light up the room or you light up the room. And that's that's something that this person kind of brings out of you. Um, someone very cheerful, right? So they're very positive, optimistic. Um, I heard good people. So what else? Curious, interested, and inquisitive. Okay, you know what I'm getting here? A lot of questions. Um, I feel like this is someone that might be really interested in who you are, what you're about, what do you do? Um, I'm getting like a lot of exchange. So, you know, it's, it's like you're looking into each other, browsing your social media accounts, kind of seeing, you know, what else do I need to know about Gemini? Or Gemini, you're thinking this about this person. I feel like there's an intrigue, like... Whoever this is that's coming towards you, Gemini, I feel like you just want to dig deeper. You want to get to know more. You kind of want to jump in and be like, what's this person all about? You know, I want to know more. Let's get a Never After Oracle as well. Uh, this deck is now available on my Etsy shop. So if you're interested in that, the Etsy link is in the description box. So you can check out um, my Oracle decks there. What else do we need to know about this individual coming towards Gemini? What else do we need to know about this individual coming towards Gemini? Hi ho, work, effort, dedication. Okay, so whoever this is, I feel like they're going to put in the effort that you're seeking. Um, you know, especially when I see the curious card next to it is like, you know, they really want to find out more. Yeah, look what's at the bottom of the deck. First dance, getting to know each other. <laughs> exactly what I was picking up here. It's almost like you're making them put in effort, but in a good way. It's like they, they really like having to figure you out. I'm also getting like, you know, it, it's almost like the more they know about you, the more they just want to keep figuring you out. What else does Gemini need to know about this individual spirit that they might not be aware of? What does Gemini need to know? Any hidden factors, anything that Gemini should be aware of? when it comes to this individual. Anything that we need to know for Gemini. Queen of Swords, okay, so interesting. I'm hearing open book. Yeah, and there's the uh, Page of Cups. So I feel like this is someone that's gonna be very open with you. Um, I feel like the communication um, is very important here, uh, getting to know each other, this curious energy, communicating with this person expressing your feelings to this person. Um, I feel like this is somebody that is very mutual. The energy is very is feeling like you're both on the same page. You both want to get to know more about the other person. You're both curious about each other and both very open with each other. Like, I feel like this is someone that you kind of overshare without meaning to. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I also get the sense, Gemini, that you're like, I don't know, like you're really the investigator here you want to know, you know, it's like you have questions, you're going to get down to the bottom of this person. Um, and I feel like they're going to be, they're going to reciprocate and they're going to be fine with telling you things. The page of cups where the, where's their heart on this, on their sleeve. If I could get that out, they wear their heart on their sleeve. So, you know, they can't help, but be very open with their emotions, their feelings. Let's get some advice for you, Gemini. And then we'll jump into Libra. Spare any advice. For Gemini regarding this future partner any advice guidance for Gemini any advice guidance for Gemini One more. I just don't feel like okay right here unfinished symphony okay so this card is typically about you know unfinished business uh things that need closure i'm gonna just read 
the keywords here real quick, just in case they speak to anybody watching. Unfinished business, an incomplete lesson, lack of closure, the need to make amends. This is about tying up loose ends as you near the completion of a cycle or project. Gemini, you know what I'm getting with this? I feel like you are wrapping up a cycle and this is the beginning of a new one. Whoever this is that's coming in, I think it's it's not necessarily that you might have unfinished business with them, but you might have unfinished business with old partners or old attachments. And once you're able to really let go of that and close that chapter, I feel like you're going to be walking into a new one. I don't really get a lot of, I mean, the Six of Cups is a card about the past, but I didn't really feel that energy super strongly. I mean, of course, there's always that potential of you meeting with someone from the past. But if they are from the past, it's a distant past because I don't feel like, you know, I don't feel that energy of someone that like just left your life. So it could be that you are needing to get some closure and that way you're able to wrap something up and welcome something very beautiful in all right so let's move on to libra let's see i'm going to use different decks for all of the signs just because <laughs> i feel like doing that so i'm going to use a different deck here for you libra let's use this one All right, Spirit Angels, guys, what do we need to know about Libra's future partner, the person coming towards Libra? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about Libra? What do we need to know about Libra's future par partner? The person coming towards Libra, what are they like? What are their traits? What do we need to know about them? For Libra, what do we need to know about the person coming towards them? Wow, the King of Cups. Oh my gosh, I, I was so excited the minute I saw them. Cancer Pisces energy here. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy here. <laughs> uh, I can't forget that one. And this is somebody that is very compassionate, loving, um, emotionally mature. They tend to have a lot of depth. Very... Um, good at listening, understanding. Um, I feel like whoever this is will have a lot of feelings towards you, um, a lot of love to give. They could be a bit sensitive or just really connected to their emotional side. Um, I'm also getting older for some reason. I don't typically get that with like every king card, but I'm getting that here. This could be somebody older, wiser, because I get the sense that there's something different about this person. They might dress well too, because I can't stop looking at this hat. Um, okay, what else do we need to know? What else do we need to know about this individual coming towards Libra, Libra's future partner? What else do we need to know? This one, five of pentacles. See, you know what I'm getting here? I'm getting um, seeking, finding, the Five of Pentacles is a card that they're, you know, these people need help. They're trying to find shelter. They're trying to find warmth. They're trying to find um, resources, right? So that they can improve their situation, which is not well. Um, I feel like this person could have had a glow up. Um, and I'm also getting, if that's not the case, maybe they are financially stable, but they're just missing something. Uh, this is someone that is looking for warmth and I feel like almost like they're looking for someone that might complete them in a way because I'm getting like someone that's like finding something let's look at what's at the bottom of the deck yeah the knight of wands is at the bottom of the deck so I feel like this is like someone that's actively trying to get out of this situation where they're needing something right because the five of pentacles they're almost at shelter. There's like this, a church in the background and um, this person's not doing very well health wise. And this person here looks very cold. So I feel like they're almost at that shelter space where they can actually, you know, relax, rest, calm down, you know, all that good stuff. But I feel more than anything, like this is someone that is making moves to get out of this energy in a way. 
this could also be someone that misses you like this is an emotional um loss in a way you know like the five of pentacles with the king of cups could be that someone is missing that you know there's a hole in their heart right and they're like looking for someone to fill it what else for libra what do we need to know spirit about this future partner coming in towards libra yeah the nine of cups i do feel like they're going to get what they want this person nine of cups i'm getting emotional fulfillment exactly what i was saying the nine of cups is about being emotionally fulfilled emotionally satisfied you're very content with what you've achieved you're kind of enjoying the fruits of your labor you are you know happy you know a wish has been granted or someone has you know achieved that success that they worked hard for with the nine of cups so um you know to me this tells kind of a story right like this king of cups is looking to be emotionally fulfilled they're looking for stability balance in their home life with the four of wands they want a happy home a happy life um this could also be what you are wanting libra and for some reason you've invited this in you've manifested this though because i'm thinking 11 11 with the four of wands which i normally don't instantly think about that but i feel like this is like destined in a way because someone's like yes i'm getting exactly what i wanted here i feel like you are good for each other you know like you add to each other um this person's very happy, very emotionally fulfilled with you. But I don't think that's how it always was with this Five of Pentacles. I feel like this is like a glow up for someone. What else do we need to know about this future partner for Libra? Spirit, what else do we need to know about this future partner for Libra? Fun, outgoing, and lively. So this could be somebody that things you're fun or they're fun they have fun with you um why am i thinking baby shower someone you could be meeting someone at a baby shower a baby shower is relevant here <laughs> i you would think i would think of a birthday right with the pinata but i instantly thought baby shower i don't know what that's about but um apparently that's relevant for someone watching <laughs> Um, okay, so I feel like this is someone that maybe they become outgoing with you or lively with you, like you bring out this side of them, because I don't think that this is how they typically are, or how, you know, feel free to flip that for you. If you are typically someone that's not this way, maybe they bring that out of you. What else? What else do we need to know about this future partner for Libra? mysterious enigmatic and mystifying interesting so this person could you know you could be dealing with a scorpio someone with scorpio in their chart um but when i think of mysterious enigmatic and mystifying i think of sexy right like i think of someone that they don't just lay out all their cards on the table there's something kind of alluring about them mystifying right like you're trying to get to the bottom of whatever that is so when i see these two these two energies together i think of someone that on the exterior they're very fun outgoing and lively but there's a depth to them that's not all they are right let me use an ever after oracle deck this is available now on my etsy shop linked down below if you're curious okay can we get some more insight, please, Spirit, on Libra's future partner, the person coming towards them? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this individual? Princess, divine feminine. Okay, so I feel like there's definitely a partnership here where one of you is very um, attractive, valued. Um, I'm thinking of the Empress here. So I'm thinking of someone that has a lot to offer, a lot to bring to the table. Um, the, the divine feminine energy is like, you know, again, with this fulfillment, you know, she's very abundant, the Empress. Um, so there's, you know, obviously a feminine energy here that I feel someone's really valuing. Um, I, I'm also getting like you're being re if someone is stepping into this divine feminine energy, they're being rewarded. Um, bottom of the deck is kiss the girl. It don't take a word, not a single word. Go on and kiss the girl. First move, courage, and hidden feelings. So I feel like this is someone, yeah, they see a princess, a divine feminine.
they see someone captivating and it's like, I gotta make a move. Uh, I have to express my feelings, right? I, I'm gonna go after what I want. Um, so this could be somebody that, you know, maybe they haven't expressed how they feel to you yet, Libra. But, you know, once they see you or, you know, once this connection starts, it's like, wow, I have to nail this down. Like, I have to lock this down. <laughs> what else does Libra need to know about this person that they might not be aware of, Spirit? Any insight, any hidden factors about this individual that Libra needs to know about that Libra needs to be aware of? Three of Swords. See, I feel like there is some something here where someone has been through difficulty. And I think it's this King of Cups because the Five of Pentacles is here. This person may have been hurt in the past. Um, this could be also that you've been hurt in the past and you're finding it hard to invite someone into your life. Um, I feel like there's there's like a, I'm, I'm seeing like a Band-Aid. So I'm getting almost like a healing energy here that happens. And I think it's because of you coming into this person's life or they came into your life. And so it's it's like this three of swords is no longer going to be an issue. You know, let's see. Can I get one more, please, for this three of swords? What do we need to know? What do we need to know, spirit? About this three of swords, what do we need to know? Yeah, the page of cups. So I definitely feel like this is like, you know... It could be an apology for past hurts, but I'm more getting like, despite the heartache, despite the difficulty, someone's willing to try again, right? Someone's willing, willing to give their cup again. And it's not just for anybody because the two of cups is at the bottom of the deck. It's for that one person that they feel like this is the person that I trust with my heart, right? Despite the difficulty, despite the fact that maybe I haven't had a, a lot of good luck with love, I'm willing to express myself, to give myself to someone. Any advice, any guidance for Libras regarding this future energy spirit? Any advice, any guidance for Libra? Then we'll jump to Aquarius. Any advice, any guidance for Libra? Message in a bottle. So there is definitely something coming towards you, Libra. A message from someone. Um, it could be a message from spirit as well because bless is at the bottom of the deck. But bless is also an energy about receiving blessings from spirit. So there could be something that you're manifesting that's coming in in the form of a message. This could be someone physically like coming towards you to talk to you, a text message, a letter could also be a spiritual message, right? Like through a dream, through another person, you know, keep an open mind here because you're all gonna be experiencing things differently. And of course, not every reading will resonate for you, but that's kind of what I'm getting here, especially with blessed. It's almost like this message was destined. So let's see what we have here for Aquarius. Let's jump to their energy here. Aquarius. Let's see. For Aquarius, spirit angels, guys, what does Aquarius need to know? Wow, the fool regarding this new person coming in to their life, their future partner. What does Aquarius need to know, spirit, about this future partner? For Aquarius. For Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know about this future partner, traits, characteristics, energies from this person coming into Aquarius's life? Okay, we have the Eight of Swords. So this is somebody that's feeling a bit tied up, a bit restricted. Um, this could be somebody that's afraid. Um, this could be somebody that's overthinking, thinking a little bit too much about a problem. Um, I think if this is the, the person that's coming in, if this is entirely their energy, because keep in mind that these energies can be interchangeable. This could be your energy or the person coming in, because that's how energy works. But if this is entirely their energy, 
Um, there might be an, uh, a situation that has happened for this person where now that they're coming in, they're a bit afraid to kind of jump in. I, you know, I'm getting someone that's like standing at the edge of a pool and they don't know if they want to jump. This could also be someone that's like physically restricted, right? Like maybe they're restricted by distance or by the fact that they're tied up in something or have obligations. What else do we need to know about this individual? But I'm getting this is more mental because Eight of Swords is mental. Tell me more about this individual coming towards Aquarius. What do we need to know about this person coming in? Wow, the Ace of Cups. See, I feel like they want to jump into new love. I feel like this is like an opportunity for something new to begin, something that's very emotionally fulfilling, emotionally abundant. But I feel like someone's scared. Now, they're a bit scared of jumping in with both feet here. And remember, I saw the fool while I was shuffling. So the fool is about kind of jumping in without really thinking too much. It's about taking a leap of faith, right? Like you don't know where you're landing or where you're going, but you're going to try. What else do we need to know about this person coming into Aquarius's energy? What do we need to know about their future partner spirit? for Aquarius. What do we need to know about their future partner? The devil Capricorn energy. So this could be somebody with Capricorn in their chart. Um, this could be somebody that, again, I feel like that fear. Yeah, there's the three of swords at the bottom of the deck. So Aquarius, I can't help but think that this person might have really gone through it with another relationship. Maybe they've been terribly unlucky in love. Um, maybe they've just been heartbroken and, you know, it just hasn't worked out for them despite the fact that they want love. I'm also getting that this person might have made choices that led to more difficulty, disappointment rather than, you know, leading to something that's, I don't know, it's almost like instead of finding what they've been looking for, they just get farther and farther away from it. Like, that's what it feels like. Tell me about the devil. Let's get one more for this devil energy. Tell me about the devil spirit. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about the devil? What do we need to know? The nine of wands. Yes. So this, you know, and again, Aquarius, this could also be the way that you feel as well. Like maybe you've had terrible relationships up till now that have left you a bit guarded, defensive, and wary of love. You have your guard up. There are walls that you've put in place because of the past. So I feel like this is someone that's a bit tortured, to be honest. I don't really pick up that this is like a past that you have with someone that could be, you know, obviously every story is different. Every Aquarius watching doesn't have the exact same story, but I feel more that this is an, an emotional um situation that someone is experiencing because of what's already happened like this isn't something that's happening to another per like one person isn't doing this to another person that's not how i'm picking up this energy it's more like because of the past i am very hesitant to jump right in and have new love and this could be your energy or this could be their energy but both of you i feel <laughs> it's almost like a little of a tug of war here um, now this Ace of Cups is interesting to me because I feel like this is somebody that, you know, this is completely, um, emotional and this to me feels very like mental, right? Like this is like someone's thoughts, um, fears, right? And then here is like someone's heart. Let's look at that Ace of Cups. Tell me about the Ace of Cups, please, spirit for Aquarius. What do we need to know about their future partner's energy? The Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And then we have the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like someone is ho hoping for something stable, solid. The Queen of Pentacles is the type of partner that like they ground you. Um, they have a lot to bring to the table. They tend to be very independent, financially savvy. Um, they tend to be very... Um, uh, in, in a way, like they're very, they're good parents, good friends, good business partners. You know, they're the ideal partner in a lot of ways. Um, so I feel like this person, you know, 
either that, those are the traits they're bringing to the table, someone very solid and stable financially, materially, you know, despite the fact that maybe their emotional life is a mess, <laughs> or they see you this way. You are this stable, uh, grounded person that could center them, right? Like they could really balance them out. There's the six of pentacles here. So I'm thinking of like a little uh, back and forth energy here. Let's look at more about this person. Tell me more spirit. Tell me more about this individual. What do we need to know about this individual? Could definitely uh, have an earth sign coming in. Does not have to be. They just happen to be the signs that came out. What do we need to know about this individual coming in for Aquarius? Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So the traits of an air sign, you know, there's intelligence, curiosity, good communication, communicate, you know, they're, they're kind of, um, uh, flexible as well. They tend to kind of go with the flow a lot of the time, uh, mentally, at least, you know, they keep you on your toes, but then at the bottom of the deck, I have earth sign. This could be you and them. I mean, that's really cute. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So, you know, there's two, two sides here. There's a balance here, air and earth, you know, a balance happens when these two kind of collide. It's like someone bringing you from from the clouds to, to the ground, right? You kind of need that sometimes. Someone that balances you out. What else do we need to know about this individual? Purity, clarity, and innocence. And divine feminine. Interesting. So when I see divine feminine, this reminds me of Libra. Libra also got a divine feminine reading. Or not reading, but a card that came out in this deck, the Ever After deck. Divine Feminine and Purity. So I'm getting um someone that is, uh, I don't know. It, it's, it's, it's like I'm getting a clean slate for some reason, a place where you can grow again. You know, like I'm, I'm picturing fresh soil. You know, the Empress is very abundant. Man, she's able to manifest growth. She's able to create. I feel like someone sees you as like a beacon. Like I'm getting someone that sees you as like their their new start so let's get an ever after oracle here this is available now on my etsy shop if you want to check it out it's linked in the description box what do we need to know about this individual we have horse action motivation energy so i feel like this is definitely someone that's willing to make a move towards you here despite the fear despite you know kind of being afraid uh, we have kiss the girl at the bottom of the deck. It don't take a word, not a single word. Go on and kiss the girl. First move, courage, hidden feelings. So I definitely feel like this is someone that's willing to make that move towards you. Make the first move towards you. And I'm getting that that's not usually how they roll. Like that's not usually the way they approach things, but they're doing that for you. What else? What else for this person? Into the woods, fear, uncertainty, karmic path. Exactly. They have no idea where this is going to go. They have no idea. They just know they kind of want to jump in and see where that goes. Storybook romance at the bottom of the deck. Romance, chemistry, mutual feelings. So I definitely feel like there's something special here. But I'm getting that you're both hesitant. You know, you're uncertain. And I feel it's possibly because this person has already experienced some karmic lessons. Or you have. Maybe you both have. Um, and so it's like, uh, I just don't know. <laughs> I just don't know if I want to like go there again, but I feel like there's something different about this connection that, you know, you're willing to try again. Can I get some insight into, um, hidden factors, things that Aquarius might not be aware of when it comes to this person that they should be aware of? What does Aquarius need to know about this person's spirit? Okay. Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. So what you need to know, and then the six of wands at the bottom of the deck, is that this does have potential for success. This does have stability behind it. Um, I feel like there is a lot of opportunity here for success, for victory. That's what you need to know. I feel like there's uncertainty on both sides, but I feel like there's nothing to really worry about. That's, probably, that's really what I'm getting. Despite the past, there, the future looks pretty bright here. And the past won't hold you back in this instance. I feel like someone needs to let go of whatever has been holding them back, of this fear of going out there and putting themselves into 
you know, the dating world again or putting themselves into someone's hands kind of, you know, because being in love is being vulnerable. And I feel like someone here has been struggling with that. Okay. Just going to ask for advice. And we got serendipity. So serendipity is expect the unexpected. Uh, unexpected blessings, things ha that happen in the right time as if by magic. And we have no place like home. So whoever this is will feel like home to you. Um, maybe that's unexpected for you. Maybe you don't expect to have a connection so quickly or so deeply in such a short time. Um, but I feel like there's something here about this person that you recognize. It's like you see yourself in them or vice versa. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Hopefully the rest of the air signs enjoyed this reading. Um, I didn't really say goodbye to any of them, but since you're the last one, I figured I would kind of wrap things up here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the reading. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you all, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.